boys and girls, it's calendar time again. Let's sing the months of the year song. You ready? We're going to start with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. I'm going to have to fix the camera a little bit so you can see the rest of the calendar. So yesterday, um, uh oh, I forgot to put the days of the week back in our calendar. Silly Miss Olsen. So sometimes, I was going to have a work on, on that again today, but can just practice while I put them back in there. How about that? So I'm going to set my stick right there. So here's Sunday. You see how that's a day of the weekend? It begins with the letter S. You notice that in every day of the week it ends with D-A-Y or day. This is Monday. It starts with Mm, M. T Tuesday. W Wednesday. T H. When you see those two together, it makes the first grade teacher say, say it's the only time you'll ever be able to stick your tongue out at a first grade teacher. It also makes the th sound like a th. This one is Friday. See at the end? D-A-Y. Another thing I want you to notice is that every single one of the days of the week has an uppercase letter at the beginning of it. We always capitalize the first letter of a day of the week. This one's Saturday. It's also a weekend. Starts with S. S makes the S like a snake. Okay, let's sing the Days of the Week song. Are you ready? Let's put this stool back a little bit. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Okay, you ready to count? Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Don't forget to whisper to your hand. What's the number? Seventeen. The number sixteen has the number 17 after it. Now I'm not gonna show it to you yet, I'm gonna peek. Let's talk about our pattern, ready? This one is a circle, rectangle, triangle, square. You do it. Triangle, square. And those were all real life objects, right? And then it goes back to circle, rectangle, triangle, square. So those are all the colored shapes. Then it changes. Real life objects, that's a quarter, remember? Circle, rectangle, triangle, square. What comes next? Is it a real life object? Or is it a colored shape? Hmm. Maybe you could tell somebody close to you what you think the shape is gonna be and how you know. When we're at school, you're gonna be able to turn and talk to someone sitting next to you and tell them that. What shape you think is going to be next and how you know. If you said you think it's gonna be a, a colored shape and it was blue, you were correct. Good job. Way to predict the patterns, friends. Okay, so remember this says, can you read it with me? How many days have we been in and so yesterday we put on our third star and today
today we're going to add, oops, sorry, fourth star. And today we're going to add one more. So now we have that top row in our 10 frame filled. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So four plus one more equals five. And we need to add a clip to our clip collection. Yesterday, we had one, two, three, four clips. And today when we add one more, let's do it with our fingers. If we have four and we add one more, how many clips does that make all together? Five. So tomorrow when we add to our clip collection, we're going to start using a, uh, we're going to make a whole nother row of red clips. And then we'll have five, and then we'll have a group of ten, so we can start learning how to count by ten. So, hmm, today it was super smoky outside still, so you probably didn't get a chance to go outside. But what I hope you'll do today is go look out the window. My prediction is that it's going to be cloudy, so I'm going to color in the cloudy. Okay? You know how um, we can predict the weather? So one way we predict the weather is we think about what kinds of weather we normally have in the month that we're in, which is September. And September is usually when um, summer is over and we're almost to the first day of fall. And those are seasons. Um, summer is when it's pretty hot outside. And then fall is the season where it starts to cool down a little bit. So we can start to make some predictions about what we think the weather's going to be like. I asked a few of you um, when we were on Zoom that first day, do you think there's going to be snow? You don't usually get snow in September, but you never know. So I think what I'm going to do is color in another one of the blue squares. do my best to try and stay in that shape. Are you doing that same thing? Trying your best to stay in the shape? So which kind which um, kind of weather do we have the most of? I could take it off the wall and bring it a little closer to the camera so that you can kind of see it. So this one is the cloudy, partly cloudy. This one's rainy. It has rained, but it's, it's not really been raining when we did our, our calendar time. This one is snowy. I can't tell if you can see it really. There's some glare against the camera. And then there's the sunny ones. So we have the most cloudy days. And we can tell because we have one, two, three. And then on the sunny days, we have one, two. Out of the five days we've been in school, we've had the most cloudy days. And if we go across here, we know that there's more because there's more squares. Okay. Oops. So don't forget to fill in your calendar, and I will see you tomorrow.